Hi there! This is what we've been working on in the past few weeks at pentesttools.com. We have just launched a new vulnerability scanner. There's a new scanning engine in one of our main tools. We also developed a custom detection module for one of the most important vulnerabilities from the past few weeks. And we've completely revamped our collaboration feature. There are also a couple of minor admin updates and I wanna give you a couple of details on each of them. There's a new tool in your pentesttools.com arsenal, the Cloud Vulnerability Scanner. It features custom detectors that we've developed in-house to help you find misconfiguration, weak access controls, vulnerabilities, bucket owners and bucket users, and interesting files in your cloud targets. Obviously, it works for AWS, for Google Cloud, and also for Azure. You can use our newly launched Cloud Vulnerability Scanner to discover your target's provider, to figure out AWS ACLs, to scan AWS S3 buckets directly, to find exploitable misconfigurations and vulnerabilities and report all of these in just a few minutes and pass on all this information to your colleagues or to your customers. Plus, you can schedule scans with the Cloud Vulnerability Scanner to monitor your cloud assets and set up, of course, automatic notifications that are finely tuned to your severity criteria. We also built pentesttools.com in the cloud. So all of our experience with maintaining good cloud security and taking care of your information is obviously something that we use to make this particular scanner even better for you. Switching between tools is exhausting and we know that. And one of the things we try to do at Pentest Tools is to combine scanning capabilities, to combine tools and make them work together so that you can actually achieve a lot more for your time and effort. This is why our security research team has worked to integrate Nuclei into the network vulnerability scanner. What this means is that you can now use the network scanner against your targets to find and report vulnerabilities much faster with higher effectiveness and even less false positives. You should know that Nuclei is integrated into both full and custom scan types in the network vulnerability scanner. And if you have scheduled scans, you'll have to go back and reschedule them because the new integration doesn't work for previously scheduled scans. We're excited for you to try it and we can't wait to hear your feedback and see how it works for you. That is also a new detection module for one of the vulnerabilities that's been causing headaches for both security and IT specialists. I'm talking about the MoveIt SQLI vulnerability, of course, which has a CVSS v3 score of 9.8. We've integrated detection for it in our network vulnerability scanner, so you can find proof uh, in your reports that you can export anytime. We've also completely revamped our collaboration feature. Now, we know it did the job until now, but not that well, and we really know that. So that's why we just rebuilt it from scratch. Now you can invite team members just by sending them an email. And what's more, even if they haven't accepted their invitation yet, you can still share items with them. So when they log in and finish setting up their account, they can already start working. It's also simpler to change access levels at any times. It's easier to see how many items you've shared with a particular team member. And it's also easier to find them because now they get icons. And for a more detailed look at how this new feature works, you can just check out the video with Dragos, my colleague, who will walk you through the entire thing. Remember those two workspaces we shared with our coworker earlier, now that the account is activated, they can find the workspaces here and start the work directly. And to wrap up, just three small items that you might find helpful. First of all, you can get notifications if your webhooks run into any kind of errors. You can also edit the time zone for your account and for your scheduled scans. This is something that many of you have requested. We finally built it, so now you can finally use it as well. 
And one last thing, we've moved the password auditor from under offensive tools and you can now find it under network vulnerability scanners because it just made more sense. Thanks so much for watching. This is the first platform updates from pentestools.com in video format. We'll be publishing one of these each month, every time that we also send an email to our customers with all of the updates that we've been working on. We have a bunch of things in progress, so we can't wait to share them with you. So stick around and let us know if you like these updates, if they're helpful. Anything that you need, drop it in the comments and we'll make sure to check them out. See you next time. Thank you.